Welcome back to Vampire Survivors Castlevania DLC and today we are playing Graham. Graham already starts with an evolved weapon and I honestly forgot its name but we'll see it eventually. There's a tracked orb though it is on the stage. Do we want to wait? Yeah, I think I will just wait. Let's take the spinach instead. And do you see that we have a little arcana guy walking around? So I would say, first of all, let's do this. We don't need the skips, but we'll take the rerolls and we'll pick up Silent Old Sanctuary. Now over here you can see my arcanas. We have Wicked Season. This is just the starting arcana of this character. Yes, believe it or not, it's just the starting arcana. Then we have the Moonlight Bolero on top of that just to get a chance for more arcanas and Silent Old Sanctuary to give us cooldown and might. We have the duplicator here, perfect, but we need to max out. Ooh. Base area up and base speed up. Your name is Vol Umbra. But our main focus is to max out the life sign scan and get this going ASAP. There we have an arcana and that just... Oh my god, you're fancy. I actually don't know this weapon. I've never seen this before. I just saw that he starts with Wicked Season and I was like, I want that. <laughs> Give that to me. I think we will go for Sapphire Mist because this means we have multi-triggers. I'm actually not sure which arcanas work with this, but I don't think it's that important since we just... More, one more projectile. That's cute. That's like nothing. Yeah, we just want to focus and explore. So if we come across something amazing, we'll take it. But right now, I'm just in awe by how amazing this weapon looks. The only thing that I know is that... Ooh, Empty Tome, perfect. That you want to have a Tracked Orb because this heavily buffs up the weapon. We also want to have a bunch of area that we hit as many enemies as possible. There's Empty Tome, good. We have the freezes enabled because I don't know whether the weapon is good or not. Now for all the new people that joined and don't know what we are really doing, what we are doing is that we go for one singular weapon only, the main weapon. We also have the life sign scan which will evolve into the paranormal scan and this will give us bonus stats to make the weapon even more powerful but the only thing it can do on its own is healing. It can't attack so it won't take away from the main weapon but it will give us bonus stats. Empty tome, perfect. I don't even know for what else I want to go for. I think projectile speed makes sense. Spellbinder that they last longer. Anything else. Torona is on the stage, but usually I like to pick it up on my own that I don't have to walk over there. Let's make a quick count. We want to go for Spellbinder, Brazer. Oh, can Lapador. Yeah, we can't go for Torona yet. I will just get it from the stage and it will be fine. It will take a hot second. Can we evolve? We can evolve already. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay, let, get, let me get that. Ah, there was Spellbinder. I should have taken that. But now we have the paranormal scan. This means this little dude here will disappear. Nice. And if we get a candy box, I actually want to have the new item that gives us plus 50 enemies. Okay, there's a chest. Wasn't an arcana. The arcana that is on this... Why is it still an arcana? That shouldn't be an arcana anymore. Wait, what? Oh! Wait, but we have four Arcanas and that's the maximum. That would mean the initial Arcana doesn't count. Wait, let me run there and check out if that's actually an Arcana or if it's just faking me out. Because that would be insane and we need to get going either way because we want to have the crown, we want to have the attract orb. For those asking, we are playing on Abyss Foscari. That is a DLC map from the... Uh, 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 Abyss Foscari DLC? I forgot the name. Tides of the Foscari is, I think, the name. Okay, Spellbinder, good. Dude, what is this storm? We create a tornado and there's Brazer. That means we have everything. Let's just rush down because if we spawn another Arcana guy with the Bolero Arcana, then the one on the stage will just turn normal. And the Sapphire Mist, we use this because this can multi-trigger our weapons, which also, by the way, includes the Paranormal Scan, as you can see. It just gave us Magnet. And I think, as far as I know, that actually works. And Magnet buffs up our weapon in every single regard. Speed, duration and area. What do we focus on first? I think we'll just go for Spellbinder to make sure it lasts long but it's kind of slow it's funny how it looks like a tornado even though it's not what is that something is following oh hands oh hands oh hands on curse okay i have to be a little bit careful with that but we have armor right above us so we got the big red gem that accumulated all of the experience and we want to go for paranormal scan until we have minus 90 percent how did i oh yeah i completely missed the armor Let's go in. We managed to do it. 
So here's the thing, I have no idea what is even supposed to work with this. This is just bonus damage which we don't want. Beginning would be nice, but I think we can hopefully do better than that. Honestly, the only thing I'm missing is that you can open an overview to check out all of the arcanas to know exactly what they work with, because I may honestly just waste one here if I don't find something and it doesn't look like I'm finding something. Do we just go for Boogalore of Illusions? Yeah, it's Boogie of Elugi time. Let's do it. Because this means we will get a lot more area a lot faster. And the only reason why I took it there is because I think we are running in a risk that I keep rolling. And then at the final page I realized there was nothing in there that we wanted. And that would be quite sad. There is a chest. This could be a candy box, but it isn't. We have a lot of damage numbers, but I don't know if this damage will be enough to deal with the enemies. So I would say we'll take a detour. How much How much cooldown? We have 86%. We are almost there. Let's just turn off the damage numbers because I think there's a little bit too much. Isn't the weapon beautiful though? Like, isn't this one of the most amazing weapons you've ever seen visually? Wow. At first I wanted to start with... What is his name? It's the dude that starts John Morris, I think. You have horrible scaling, that's not good. John Morris, because he starts with the iron balls and the weapon looks hilarious. Okay, 89%. At this point, we can say random always and just pick whatever. Where's the, where are the crowns? Okay, we have two there. Let's go for this one. And there's the second crown. So now we get a huge bonus. So Wicked Season, by the way, the way it works is every two level ups, we get 1% in these four stats. Why do we have so much greed? Wait, that's ridiculous. And whatever you see at the bottom there gets doubled. Which I know is greed right now, but it, it usually doesn't show that. Let me see if it disappears, like if it halves after this is gone. Crown, yeah sure, that has priority. So what happened now? They actually show it. And now you can finally see that it always includes the base amount. The base is 100, the plus is the plus on top. So when it doubles, it combines both of them and doubles that. Oh, I thought we got lucky with, you know, what is going on in the background? Yeah, that's a little bit crazy. We're just waiting for this vacuum. You know what? I'll pick it up. Follow me. Follow me. And let's pick it up. Now, while the growth is doubled and we have 369%, we are picking up everything. <laughs> Get demolished, guys. And now we wait for the luck doubling and I can even show that to you. So we should have 400%. Yeah, 407%. Let's pick up the chest. And we got a Penta chest. That means we have a candy box guaranteed. And you know what that means? We are about to get swarmed by a lot of enemies. Because we'll take Amadeo. And here we have Karoma's Mana. This one increases the spawned enemy amount by 10 every single level up. So at the end we have plus 50 enemies every single wave. Look at this. Taking a look at our magnet, we were at 94 earlier and now we're at 100. That means, yes, magnet does work properly with the paranormal scan. I think we checked this out once before and it already worked, but there was a time where it didn't. Why did I have this disabled? Now we have the guides. And look at this, we already killed all of the guardians. That's... honestly, that's, that's respectable. There, we have another level in Attract Orb. Every single level up we get an Attract Orb makes it more extreme. I found the big red gem that sucks. Because now everything is maxed out. Uh, That's just because we leveled up so much, right? No, that's how you are now. Oh. I, I still have to pick up the Taruna. You know. So while walking it's by far... That was flawless! Did you see that? Dex, good job. Wow, usually you struggle so much to get it into the hole, but this time it was a first attempt. Wow. <laughs> don't, don't, don't quote that. So we will banish the Toruna on level 9. I've noticed pretty much all of the new DLC weapons and maybe also all weapons that we just have in the game have a very low scaling with 0.25. I do recall there was something that apparently it was always a lower value than what it shows in the game, which could have been that it was always 0.5. And what that might means is it's actually bonus damage. It's not might. So it goes into the weapon and it says your damage is increased by 0.25 and it's not this might multiplier that you see over here. Hey, a chest. We don't care about it anymore. Like even if we get the other candy box, it doesn't do anything. But it takes... Yeah, okay, there's the other candy box. I mean, I'll take a quick look at it. If there's something that I'm missing, 
that we could take that would help us out, but not damage the enemies. But yeah, I don't think so. What is your current damage? I would say it's probably 78. 122, that's way higher than I thought. That is a solid damage amount. The hardest part will honestly be to just stay away from the experience and from the freezes. The reason I kept the freezes in is I didn't know what to expect from this weapon, so I wanted to make sure... What's that? Something spawned. That's a person. Where am I walking? Why is it so dark? Huh? I'm outside of the map. I can't get back in. No, I'm I'm in the shadow area, right? Uh, right? Oh, come on. Don't tell me I locked myself out. Hey. Dude, I'm pressing down. I can't go anywhere. No, I'm locked in. Why? <laughs> Scheiße. Uh... Okay, okay, what we need to, oh, 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 what we needed to do was we needed to create enough lag that we can walk through the walls again. That was so spooky, how did I manage to do that? So I accidentally walked through the walls and then we were just stuck in nothingness. Fires faster when moving? I've never heard of these. Wait, but, 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 okay. Let's make the enemies move normally. What is that? What was that? Why is it going so crazy right now? It's because I'm standing still, right? But the issue is, because we have so much pickup range right now, I don't think there's any experience left. There was a big red gem, that's good. But we will get more and more. Do you see that there, vacuum? We are now at 407 right now. And every single time you see a blue ball, when I show you my blue balls, then it will go up. Okay, there was speed and duration, that's nice. Now my hope right now is that this actually gets so big that we can see again. Wait, what? I, I... I saw someone. There, look at this. Here. Where? There. There's nothing. But there's an arrow. I'm I'm completely lost. I'm I'm so lost. Hey, we got a passive. What is it? Yeah, money. Okay, I don't care about that. I mean, getting more money is always nice. Our stats are looking incredible. The max amount of area you can have is plus 900%. So we have another 400% to go. And maybe then it's so big that we will be able to see the stage again. But I gotta say, I think this weapon has one of the best colors and animations that I've ever seen. Because it's chaos, you know, you don't really see a lot anymore, but it still looks very interesting, and at the same time, it's not hard on the eyes. Oh yeah, remember when I talked about my blue balls? 412. 412. And that is a lot of level ups. Can you just... do? You, can you even kill me? I don't think so, right? Like, we don't really care about what the dude is doing. <laughs> I'm way too... Powerful. I think that's a bug, and he just like keeps being shown to you. Well, he shouldn't be shown. Is it more? 414. It keeps going up. It keeps going up. And this also makes the weapon scale harder and harder and harder. Another passive. What do we get? That might be the worst one to get. Cool. I'm happy for myself. So at the 8 minute mark, we are dealing 226 damage. We went up by 100. I don't know, looking at the kill counter, and this is a mod, by the way, that shows you the kills that you get per second. I think we are doing really well. Wait, what? That is so much. Now, listen, it would be optimal to just run around and kill as many enemies as possible, but given that the number is already so high, and walking around has a big downside that you keep collecting all of the experience, so you waste the experience doubling. So unless you get double the amount of kills, it's not its not even doubling. You need 75% the amount of kills, since one period will have growth, where you just get the bonus right by walking around. But yeah, it's just not worth it, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so as curse is going on, we actually struggle. 
But I think we are powerful enough that the enemies can't even get close. I mean, let's be honest, okay? I'm always trying to hype this up a little bit as if there's a chance to actually lose and we have to work for it. We are unkillable unless there is a boss that has like 30 base damage sitting on us. And even then we have so much HP and healing and everything. The paranormal scan also heals us. It's borderline impossible to die. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to say hello to the stage boss? I just feel like I'm a super Saiyan right now. Like with this wavy stuff going around and okay the fire is gone but do you see that? Dude I'm so cool in the ma- am I stuck? Is that bro? I'm stuck. Okay damage numbers to the rescue. Where am I? Oh. <laughs> that was the map border. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why I couldn't continue. Hello, Bozzy. How are you doing, huh? How much damage do you deal? Wow. That was actually... That's actually a lot of damage. I mean, we can heal it up, but I'm genuinely surprised just how much damage he's dealing to me. Because we are at a point where we are so incredibly overpowered, this shouldn't really happen. Let's take a look at the damage numbers while there's an enemy that can't move away. Um, I would say that's very inconsistent is what crosses my mind. So probably what happens, and that actually makes Spellbinder horrible, when you have a certain projectile, most of them can't hit the same enemy multiple times unless something unique happens. So, so for example the rune tracer, right, it has to bounce that it can hit the same enemy again. Some other weapons, they just have a set built-in cooldown. For example, Labora I think is at 0.5 seconds, so every 0.5 seconds the same puddle can hit the same enemy again. And other weapons, like the death spiral, no matter how long you wait, the same projectile can't hit the same enemy multiple times. And it looks like here the projectiles, it's the same thing, the same projectile can't hit the same enemy multiple times, meaning we have to wait until, until the horribly long duration expires and then it will hit the boss again. So even though it looks really amazing and I love this weapon and everything about it and I want to see just how powerful it is in the end, it looks like it's one of the worst weapons to fight singular bosses. Which is fine. You don't need to be good at that because there are not that many singular bosses that are a threat. Not gonna lie, this is kind of funny how it's just sitting on me. <laughs> and I'm chilling. <laughs> yeah, look at this. The other enemies are not a problem. Unless the curse doubling happens. I think one, uh, one annoying thing is we haven't gotten another Arcana. And I feel like we need another Arcana just to get something that bumps up our damage. But I don't even know what that would be. Let's see if there's any experience on the stage left. Okay. There was a bunch of experience, that's good. Yeah, but killing wise, I, I think this spot is also just bad. Let's move away to the right side at a spawn location. Thank you for this indicator, by the way, I really appreciate this. Because I can't see anything, but we know we are in the spawn location. Roughly. Yeah, there. This is the, this is the wall where you uh, step on the pressure blade. So here should be a large open area, and we are getting 300 to 400 kills, even while Curse is active. <gasps> okay, you don't crit, that was my last hope. Beginning is bonus amount. We are capped out on amount, but I think this happens on the weapon itself, so it should actually work. But I <laughs> like it won't make a difference. So I guess we will just roll, and we have to find something that has it listed. Okay, how is it possible that you have literally zero synergies? There's not a single arcana that works with you? Yeah, we, we have to skip. <laughs> it is unlocked by defeating 4000 enemies with shaft. I have a mighty shaft, my friend. <laughs> I checked out the wiki to see if I can maybe find some information on hidden effects that it has. Some of the weapons, they, they do something special and then you want to focus on luck or something else. This weapon has nothing. This means the main thing we can only do is get more limit break stats, get more damage. And I guess the only arcana that we can take is beginning, which kind of makes you pointless. Except that we got a bunch of passives out of it, right? Like gold and movement speed. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. This is a 10 times zoom, by the way. There's no way it's this big, right? This is a 30 times zoom. 
No, this must be an animation that is drawn over the screen. Wait, but these are actually the things that we see, right? The lines. How big are you? This is a 100 times... No, there's no way. This is a 100 times zoom. That's impossible. So this is a 500 zoom. Do you see us there? Wait, is that actually its size? No way. Wait, but... But this beam, look at this, look at the size of the beam, right? This singular beam. If we go out 10 times, then you can actually see, yes, this is the size that we see in the normal scale. Which would mean it is actually the size that we have seen there. <laughs> we may have a little bit of area, you know. Just like, a, just like a little bit. Not too much, you know, don't want to make it too extreme, just a little bit. This is definitely such a cool weapon. We have another Arcana. Great that we have so much luck with Arcanas in a run where it just doesn't matter. Yeah, let's just go for beginning then. Plus three amount. The only other Arcana we can go for is... What is its name? Divine Bloodline. But I don't actually think this weapon here will be affected by it. Because I think it only affects the listed weapons, right? But it should give bonus damage if we lose HP, which will never ever happen. So that's kind of worthless, you know. Can I get the passive, please? Yeah, we got nothing. For those that have already played the DLC, feel free to suggest what weapon I should limit break. I'm not sure if I will actually do all of them, because some of them looked very painful as a solo weapon, that it's just not possible. And maybe don't go for the most extreme right away, that will cause a lot of flashing and anxiety attacks by just looking at it. Our kill numbers are right now all over the place. Wait, freezing the enemies actually gives me the most kills. Well, I guess I have to walk around, right? Yeah, and now we collect all of the experience that was... Nah. Yeah, but look at this. So we have... The, the, the freezes, man. The freezes. Usually I would say I will just restart the run and disable the freezes that we can't get them anymore to seal them. But I don't think we can actually get that much out of the weapon. Like, we would have a little bit more kills and a little bit more just level ups, but that's also it. And the weapon doesn't scale well. In other words, the enemies become stronger, we don't become equally stronger, and, you know, we would just slow down in kills either way. Nothing would change. Yeah, 50 kills right now at 19 minutes, ouch. We are playing on inverse mode, so the enemies have tripled the amount of HP, we shouldn't forget that. And that is one thing I could have disabled. Because I didn't realize that there's like no arcana that works with the character. And if this one doesn't count as an arcana, we could have had three more, meaning this one, this one, and this one. You know, just these three, and we would have been totally fine. What is a face yoga app? Face yogi. The face yoga app dedicated to face yoga, gua sha, and skincare. Do <laughs> I'm a gamer? Do you think I care about skincare? <laughs> I'm rotting. And yes, in case you didn't know that, while I'm doing these limit break runs, once we are towards the end, where the changes are minimal and we mostly just look at the, the stats, right? What is that blast even? That's an item that we pick up. But it, like once we just look at the kill numbers and nothing changes anymore, I pretty much just read emails, I read YouTube comments and stuff like that. Wow! Wait! <laughs> so our weapon doesn't get any kills anymore, but apparently we trigger something. That causes us to exp- Alter, hör doch auf, weißt du? And then when I need all of the Arcanas, I will not get any of them. So let's try it out. We will actually not know if it had an effect because we didn't know the damage numbers. We are dealing 700 damage right now. We can't even kill this boss anymore. I mean, it looks kind of nice, but... I feel like a lot of these new weapons, they just don't do well with limit break and I don't understand the nerf to the limit break damage. Like if you think about it, if you change anything about limit break, the target is solo weapon limit breaks, right? Because, hey, chest, nice, thank you. Because you don't change anything for a normal average run. Because if you have 6 weapons or even 10 or 20 as we have seen recently, then you don't care about like 10 level ups on average per weapon. It's probably even way less, right? Because if you have 10 weapons and like 10 level ups in each would mean that you got 100 bonus levels after all of them were maxed out and ready to limit break. So if you do a change like this, it's for solo weapon limit breaks. Why would you cripple them as much as they are? They, we could have double the damage. And this would actually make this a good weapon, I think. We are really close, like it doesn't take... Uh... Okay, we need so many hits to kill them right now, even if we had double the damage, nothing would change. What is our might stat? That's actually ridiculously high. Oh no, like it's not in a cap, but because there's nothing in the game that really increases it, 
The only way is really the paranormal scan, so getting it to 600 is a lot. This is a 500 zoom. 500. Just for comparison, this is 250. You can see us down there. <laughs> it's chilly. And this is 1000. What just happened? I have a feeling without area, this weapon could have been really pleasant to look at. I mean, what am I saying? I love the colors. I love these stripes that are in there that are like more pinkish. Rose? Pink? Pink? No, that's pink. Yeah, I don't really know colors, okay? I just look at color and I say color. It's like if you ask me what kind of breed is this dog or this cat, I just say orange. Or pink. No, there's no pink. Is there a pink dog? Well, probably, given what people do to dogs, but you, you, you get what I mean. <laughs> Not really much about the detail. We now reach the last two minutes and it has become really hard to pick up anything from the stage. But hey, at least there's no more Arcana chest, which I think we can't even get one more. Like there's just a limit you can get. The last two minutes are the hardest and I expect this to drop down to zero. Where are the enemies? I see these, but oh, we reached the spawn limit. Well, that's interesting. And now that we picked up an item to blow them up, they died. I wonder if we killed two of them. That's impressive. That was probably leftover mice. Yeah, look at this. There's another one. So we will see another one. Eventually. That one. Hmm. Once the curse is done. <laughs> the eye. Do you see the eye chittering around? <laughs> that looks so goofy. That almost feels like our weapon has knocked back. But like. Because maybe it strikes from weird angle. I don't even know what's going on with that eye. Like this one is so chill and calm. This is normal. This other eye. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Compare these two. <laughs> this is like Henry. He's just having a good time. And this is Jimmy. Oh no, another Jimmy has spawned. Is it because of 29 minutes? Yeah, I think another Jimmy has spawned. Oh my god, two Jimmys are going crazy. Oh, oh. Um, now all of the balls are going crazy. Is this just a ball party in the middle? Never thought I would participate in that. You know, it's not really my thing. We are actually getting some kills. It's borderline nothing, but it's impressive that we managed to kill something. It's time to say goodbye. So 1.5G damage. Yeah, I would say design-wise, this weapon is easily a 10 out of 10. Like, easily. Effectiveness-wise, I would rather say it's like a... It's like a bracelet level. A bit better than a bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.